analysts have praised the budget for the financial year 2022-2023 for being recovery oriented. I think for new taxes, the first thing is that we really engage the government on taxes. One, they have not brought new taxes. Two, they have not increased the taxes. The only thing they have done is to streamline administration. Those who have not been paying are supposed now to pay. If you have been having beverages really, for the last five years you have not been in taxation bracket, it's high time that you're in tax bracket because now you have set up your system properly, you are making profits, so it's high time you also contribute to national development. According to Julius Mukunda, the executive director, civil society budget advocacy group, the 48.1 trillion shillings national budget can boost recovery from the adverse effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Look, in, especially in this financial year budget, one of our key elements was that we need to spend more money on social sector. And for the first time, we are seeing that human capital development is taking the first priority on the national budget. That is 28%, which is very good. Secondly, is that we want the budget to be pro poor. And for the first time, we are seeing government spending a close to a trillion Ugandan shillings on the parish development model. For the first time, an ordinary person is sharing directly from the national cake. Not in directly in the security, for enough, no, directly that there is 100 million Ugandan shillings that is going to be removed from the national budget and it goes directly to the parish for the parish to be able to spend it in the way they want. The national budget has put more emphasis on agro industrialization and uplifting household incomes with an objective of fostering equitable growth and development. The budget for the next financial year presents a set, a set of strategic choices and the government's commitment to stimulate economic recovery, enhance productivity and competitiveness of enterprises, and most importantly, wealth creation and the jobs for the ordinary Ugandans. This 39% of the homes who are, who are not, whom want to, under parish model, to say, please join the money economy and produce for the stomach and for the pocket. But the other danger can be lack of rain or unreliable rain. So that's why in, the, in, the, in our budgeting, there is now something about irrigation. But in the future budgets, I would like us to do more for the irrigation. As per the key priorities, education was allocated 4.14 trillion shillings Peace and security, 3.9 trillion shillings. Health, 3.7 trillion. Agro-industrialization, 1.4 trillion. Agriculture, 1.14 trillion shillings. And the parish development model, 1 trillion and 59 billion shillings. And lastly, how will you call the budget for the year 2022-2023? Because uh, sometimes you can call it a poor man's budget, you can call it a revival budget, or whatever. <laughs> so basically, how will you term this one? For me... Uh... This, this budget really is a, is a recovery budget to support businesses to recover, individuals uh, to recover, uh, to be able to provide, to ensure that there is uh, enough credit in the system, so that at least we have an opportunity to sustain the economy, increase the production, sell, make profits. The finance minister, Matia Kasaija, committed to limiting borrowing and supplementary budgets, enhance human capital development, limit corruption, and foster knowledge transfer in order to accelerate social and economic development. Dennis Igoa for UBC News.